Hi, my name is Ali Keegan, and I'm a criminal defense attorney at the Law Office of David Shapiro in San Diego, where we help good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. I wanted to talk today about reducing felonies to misdemeanors, because there are two good benefits to that that a lot of people aren't aware of, uh, as far as options that could be on the table for them if they do have a prior felony conviction. Now, in general, most people know in California that felonies are more serious or more severe than misdemeanors. So the idea in general of after you've been convicted of a felony, reducing it to a misdemeanor if you're eligible to do so just sounds good and it's true. However, two big benefits that a lot of people might receive from reducing their felony to a misdemeanor is effects on their gun rights or effects on their sex offender registration if that applies to their case. So as far as gun rights go, generally speaking in the US, if you have been convicted of a felony, you can never own or possess a firearm or ammunition uh, for the rest of your life. There are some misdemeanor convictions where you're not gonna have that same effect. You might be able to apply for a firearm or maybe you'll be banned from having them for a certain period of time. And after that time period has lapsed, then you can apply or um, possess a firearm. Now, it depends on the type of conviction. For instance, in California, if you have a misdemeanor domestic violence conviction, federally, you still can't have a firearm regardless. So it's very nuanced. It depends on the state you're in and state and federal law is different. So wherever your case originates from, make sure you speak with a highly qualified, locally experienced criminal defense firm in that jurisdiction so they can advise you correctly. But understand that if you were to reduce possibly a felony conviction to a misdemeanor, there's an opportunity that you may be able to get your gun rights back. And if you want to dig into the specifics of whether or not that applies to you, go ahead and give us a call. I'll provide our contact information at the end of the video, but know that all hope may not be lost and you may still have some options. The second way that uh, a reduction from a felony to a misdemeanor could affect your case is potentially if you are a registered sex offender in California with a California case. Now, in the past couple of years, California used to have all of their registered sex offenders had to register for life. They changed that recently, so there are a couple different tiers, whether you need to register for a minimum period of 10 years, 20 years, or you're still a lifetime registrant. But with this new law, understand the laws are constantly evolving and this could change, but you might have an opportunity to previously being a 20 year registrant or a lifetime registrant, potentially cut that period down to have an opportunity to get off the sex offender registration list after 10 years or so, if you were to reduce your felony sex offense conviction to a misdemeanor. Again, depends on what type of sex offense it is, depends on whether it's eligible to be reduced at all, and the law could change, but understand that sex offense registration has a ton of consequences on people, where they can live, where they can work, um, what kind of jobs they can get. And it is really, really taxing on people's day-to-day -day lives for um, conduct that on paper might look terrible, but realistically might not be as bad as people expect. So if you are in that pool of people where you feel like you're gonna have to deal with this for the rest of your life because you have a felony sex offense conviction, know that there's a possibility that you might be able to reduce it to a misdemeanor and maybe you'll have some luck. So if you want to explore your options as far as how a reduction um, pursuant to Section 17B in California from a felony to a misdemeanor could affect either your gun rights or your sex offender registration, feel free to give us a call and speak with a member of our team to talk about your options. Our phone number is 619-295-3555.